Hello guys, I have 100 hours in Rune Factory 5 now. Are you surprised? I am not surprised. <laughs> I'm just happy that the game is living up to my expectations and they were sky high. If you watched my previous video, my review of Rune Factory 5, I had a rough start, but oh boy did I get addicted. I am at that stage right now, totally, utterly <laughs> addicted. Rune Factory 5 is such a wonderful game, I'm so fond of this game already. It is amazing. Once you get over that initial threshold of, I don't know, getting to know all the mechanics, getting to know how to do everything. And of course the performance, which hasn't been patched as far as I know. But it never bothered me and I made a point out of that also in my review, that it hasn't bothered me to the point where I'm annoyed at the game. I don't notice it anymore. You get frame drops when you are entering and exiting houses and sometimes when fighting. Sometimes the field takes some time to load in. But the game has never crashed on me. Nothing game breaking, nothing like that. So a quick update, where have I been? I've had uh, Easter time and I've done uh, a lot of in real life things. So that is why I haven't uploaded on YouTube in a while. But I'm back now. But the podcast has still been going every single Tuesday. A new episode of Disky Disc. I hope you are listening to the podcast as I always say. Wow. So we have some fun things to go over today. It's gonna be a Rune Factory day, so you know, strap up and uh, prepare for a lot of Rune Factory. Because I'm in a Rune Factory moment at the moment. So I can say that Rune Factory 5 has so far been my most played game of 2022. So far actually exceeding um, Atelier Sophie 2, exceeding Elden Ring by far. And Rune Factory 5 has also now exceeded my hours played in Pokemon Legends Arceus. So in a way, maybe this is even my game of the year so far. We will see, it's still a lot to go left, I mean, of 2022. But I mean, I've already gotten all the games that I really were looking forward to. I also recently got Kirby in the Forgotten Lands. Land, <laughs> not lands. Always say lands, okay. Yeah, like all the games that I talked about in my first video of the year, how I think 2022 is going to be better. <laughs> and it has been better, by far a lot better than 2021, which I felt was uh, a disappointing gaming year, personally. Uh, but I'm so satisfied uh, this year, so you know, I'm not complaining anymore. So anyways, Rune Factory 5, if you haven't picked it up, it is a Hakuma Marvelous Simulation RPG, released not too long ago. And I made an extensive, and really detailed review, which you can also have a look at. And I still stand by my rating in my review, the enjoyment rating. The game is simply too fun. It is my favorite genre and gameplay style. I mean, there's just so much freedom in a game like this with all the things that you can do. I mean, the more and more I play Rune Factory 5, the actual amount of content is impressing me all the time. The amount of items, monsters, crops, a very decent amount of villagers. And I think Xseed, which is the localization team, they made a great job on this game, which I have read the blogs. I can leave a link to those down below if you're interested in how they localized the game, which is an interesting story. <laughs> they messed a lot of things up and then they had to clean up their mess, basically. It's a blog post and it was a fun time to read that. So I mean, after 100 hours in Rune Factory 5, I can completely say that I recommend the game. I am completely addicted and obsessed with the game. So you know, there's no surprise there. And I think we are going to go over my progress in the game. Okay, so everyone, I have upgraded my house. I have decorated a tiny bit with furniture and uh, I don't spend a lot of time in the house, to be fair. Upgrading it makes you have a room here and another room here, which I will not be using because I moved all of my <laughs> furniture and stuff. I mean, my workstation's outside, let's go outside. Okay, so as you can see, there is winter time right now and I have a little snowman sitting there. That is the uh, rope up to the farm dragon. I have the exact same layout as last time with all my workstation uh, things outside and my storage box and my all of that. And here we have a portal, which is a late game thing. You're gonna see that later. 
Over here I have punching bags where I level up all of my skills. Which I recommend that you get. Get a lot of punching bags, put them outside like this and just smack them with every single weapon type that you have and you will gradually level up all of your weapon types and skills. So addicting. Jesus, oh my god, so addicting. So here's my first field, which is where I plant one off every seed all the time to use my stick alone in order to level up the crop. That is very nerdy of me to say, but you know what I'm saying if you play the game. Now let's go up to my uh, dragon. So this is my earthy farm dragon. I plant a lot of stuff here just for uh, having a steady income, I guess. I also have a fridge standing here because that is so convenient. Inside one of the barns I am collecting all the cute monsters, let's just say. So on the right side here I am collecting all the cats in the game, which I am missing a few. But I'm putting them next to each other, like in the same barn, so that I can see them properly. Here is the first boss monster, which is so much fun to ride. I will show you how that looks also. And in here I am collecting wolves. <laughs> but I only have two of them and also I have like a monster and all the, you know, I haven't sorted my monster barns completely yet. So it's, it's super messy. I have a lot of monster barns on all of the farm dragons. This was just my earth dragon. Now, one thing that I'm very obsessed with, and I am always obsessed with this, it's the shipping history. The history was good. Look guys, I have completion rate of 46%, which is a lot. I mean, try to beat that. Oh, never mind, that was the crops shipping. Okay, 46% of crops. My complete all shipping info is at 58%. Let me know yours. So exciting. I ship everything at least once so that it says ships, which I find so satisfying and so much fun. I was obsessed with this in Rune Factory 4. And we can go quickly over my levels. I am level 119. I have a bunch of gold. I have a bunch of rune abilities. And here are my levels currently. I am in the 60s, I think, on most uh, level up ball level <laughs> skills. I mean, what? Uh, recipes, I am soon done. I f I'm close to soon done collecting all of the recipes in the game, which I'm aiming for, basically. Here we have my friendship levels. I still haven't gotten married. <laughs> I can say that for real life also. I'm going for Martin still, but he doesn't accept me yet. <laughs> which is funny. I have funny names on all of my monsters, which I think you could appreciate if you knew Norwegian, I guess. Because all of them are uh, crazy names, like stupid names. Because stupid names is the way that I go in games like this. Super fun. I have gotten all of the seed crests, which is very easy. You just capture all of the wanted monsters, and that's how you get it. My stamp list, this is so much fun. I'm collecting all of the stamps in the game, which is a lot of them are based on festivals, which I haven't partaken a lot in. What? But here we have all of my fishing history. I'm only missing a few fish. As you can see, that's where it ended. Yeah, I'm missing a few fish, and a lot of those are with the ta tag team fishing basically. So it's going really good. That was just a taste of uh, what it looks like inside my game. Rune Factory 4. I mean, 5. Now I want to also unbox quickly Rune Factory 5 limited edition, which is this one. Thank you, Marvelous. I found this limited edition to be so worth it. It contains the art book with all the art of Rune Factory 5, all the characters, what they like and what they do in their lives. And what I found especially interesting with the art book are the concept arts. I can see elements in the concept art that they have implemented into the game. That is so cozy. I mean, if you know the game by heart by now, which I do, I can see where they got a lot of, you know, inspiration. I mean, look at this ice picture. It's quite ambitious, I mean, I have to say. It doesn't look like that in the game. But I love the artwork. I can see that they had a lot of ambition when they created this game. There's the jungle, there's the, the big fossil, yeah. It's just very interesting. Uh -huh. Artwork, highly recommend. The other things that came with the limited edition are, of course, the steel case of Rune Factory 5. I'm not a fan of steel cases, but I don't mind them either. 
It's cute, it's fun, but I have a feeling it's gonna just stay inside of the box forever. Now here's the actual game, cute cover, I like it, very colorful, I like the art style, I like everything. And here is the soundtrack, which I don't have the CD right here, now, right now, anyway. Because I opened this in my car, and my car is a Saab 9.3 which has a CD player in it. So I'm driving with Rune Factory 5 <laughs> official soundtrack while I'm driving in my car. So that was the limited edition of Rune Factory 5, highly recommend. And while you're still here, <laughs> congrats, you're still here. I thought of uh, unboxing this one also, my Rune Factory 4 special, special edition, archival edition, which I just, I couldn't resist. I had to go on eBay and I had to find this and I had to buy it because I never bought it back in the day when it actually was released. I mean this remake on Switch though. Uh, but it, this one was so worth it and so expensive by now also but I was like mm, I need it, I need it. So in this comes with the game. There's also like a code inside for a few outfits I think. And then we have the original soundtrack, so cute. <laughs> original soundtrack. But the reason I bought the archival edition, 100% was because of this book that comes with it. This is a book that contains all of the Rune Factories. I mean, all six games up to this point. And then I then came five, which I also have a book for now. But Rune Factory archival book, 2006 to 2020. This art book contains Rune Factory 1, Rune Factory 2, and I mean all the characters that are belonging to those games. Rune Factory Frontier, oh, which is such a cute game, and Rune Factory 3, which is the only game now that I am missing. I have the cover, but I don't have the cartridge, uh, which is a funny... which is sad times. It's hard to come by. These games are rare by now super rare and expensive on eBay. Uh, where was I? Yeah, Rune Factory Oceans is in here and all of the characters. Rune Factory Oceans has such beautiful NPCs, in my opinion. And then we have Rune Factory 4 and 4 Special, which is the same game on the remake. It's such a good book and I've been putting a lot of hours just into reading and looking in this book already. Okay, it's unputdownable basically, if you're obsessed like me. And speaking of Rune Factory and being obsessed and it becoming more and more expensive if you're gonna try and find everything that is Rune Factory. I mean, there are seven games and I soon have a complete collection. And I was only missing Rune Factory 2 and 3. And I went on eBay and I was like, I need it. Because now is the time. I'm so obsessed, I'm gonna complete this collection. And I am not a collector. I just buy the games that I wanna play. And I wanted to play this. I've gotten quite far into it already, actually. I've been playing it now in Easter. Rune Factory 2. Such a cute uh, copy of this game and thank you so much to the eBay seller. I told the seller about my channel, which I will give a shout out and say hi, thank you so much. I love this copy. Came out perfectly. <laughs> Positive rating, five stars uh, eBay, basically. <laughs> thank you. That is so exciting. I don't dare tell you what it cost. I mean, I had to pay that shipping and the Norwegian thing, which is called Toll, not Troll. They are trolling though. I also got this little plushie from Marvelous, which is a little wooly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, I mean, I hope you are enjoying Rune Factory as much as I am. And Rune Factory 6 is confirmed, but it's soft confirmed. You will only know about that if you really look for the clues. They're like hidden clues. I think it was at the end of this book. Wait, I'm making a mess. Yeah, yeah, it's like a hidden clue at the end of the book. The story of Rune Factory continues. That's such a confirmation of Rune Factory 6. Mm -hmm. Now that was all for today. Have a happy Rune Factory uh, time, which I am having. There's a new podcast episode up. Uh, of course, there is link in top comment down below to this disc. Fun times. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. <laughs>
are there older hobbies than gaming? 